Good morning, good evening, good day, to wherever you may be. Uh, this is just a brief coverage of a startup that has plans to build a missing link for self-driving cars. A SPAC, probably not going to say it right, Colonide Acquisitions. Ticker symbol CLA. Merger deal with LiDAR, Sensor Maker, Oyster, Oyster, L-U-S-T-E-R, Inc. Proceeds, the proceeds from this is expected to be used to advance development and manufacturing of the digital LiDAR sensors. These sensors provide 3D vision to robots, autonomous vehicles. They've been tested several places. I'll get back to you on that uh, another one. Uh, LiDAR companies are starting to look like PCs when they first came out. When they first came into being. And it was like a new PC company was putting a new PC out in the market every week you know, or every month. It's just like it is like now, it, many, many years, many, many years ago. It's like it is now with LiDAR and EVs. But once the merger, reverse merger closes, Oster, I'm not sure how you say that, will be under the ticker symbol O-U-S-T. Luminary Technology Inc. Lazar, L-A-Z-R is a ticker, recently went public and those stocks have more than doubled this month. With, with Oster saying it believes this to be the highest performing, lowest cost LiDAR solutions on the market with the the new chip design that they patent, they're probably going to be doubling too. They have a very good chance of doubling. Like LiDAR, and like Luminary Technology did, uh, the chip is for LAZR. With all the new autonomous vehicles coming out, the EVs are coming out left and right. So like PCs did back many, many, many years ago. But the chief executive, Angus, I'm not going to try to pronounce that word, his name, but Astor put out a statement. Astor is, uh, uh, I'm not sure you're saying it. Astor, they, they put out powering the vision for autonomous future where LiDAR power solutions are unambiguous and built into every part of the industrial economy. It's true. Uh, uh, the German military and some other places like down the road uh, warehouse. This combination with Colonard will enable us to further accelerate the adoption of our proven technology across multiple end markets and realize a safer, smarter, and more efficient future. It's going to happen no matter how many people try to fight it. It is, it is possible for outdoor technology solutions to disrupt the existing analog solutions in the market. But there's room for significant growth with Oster. There's a lot of room to follow. They so especially want to go to Mars. There might be something good on Mars. Now, the LiDAR are high-resolution sensors with long, mid, and short-range applications. The LiDAR is power powered by a one-chip scale laser array and one CMOS sensor. It gives it a full range of sensors and superior imaging. It provides high-resolution 3D data for everything around a vehicle to ensure the driver can react to anything coming its way. Big improvement from many years ago. Uh, it has 120 resolution, 90 degrees vertical field of view, and 360 degree horizontal field of view. Arthur takes aim at LiDAR, Rifle, Lim Liminar, and Babadine. I'm um, covering these with this later for y'all because there's a lot of information to break down. Because they're talking about my field right now.